Hello, Lethal Nation. If you happen to check out episode nine of our Lethal Life series, you would have seen me doing a quick review of the Wild Edge Perch. And in that video, I discussed how I was going to paint the Sika Gear EV2 pattern on the perch. If you guys haven't yet checked that out, if you look in the description section of this video, there's a link to go back and check the review video I did on the Wild Edge Perch. But now let's get to talking about how to paint this EV2 pattern like I've done on this arm right here, on that perch. First thing you guys need to do, I went to Walmart. This is just basic gloss white. That's gonna be the last color you add. You're not using a whole lot of the gloss white color. Second color I use is the Rust-Oleum Camouflage Tan Color. This is the lighter of the two tans. Next color is just a basic gray. This is satin granite. I would suggest using the satin or flat colors on these things. Satin granite from Rust-Oleum. And the last color you will use when painting the EV2 pattern is this satin espresso, also bought at Walmart. Now, let's get to step one. I'm not gonna repaint the step because it's already the gray color. So what I'm gonna do is just do the accents on that. The first thing I need to do is hang this wild edge perch up and I'm going to throw a gray base coat on it. So I got my perch loose, hanging up here in the tree. And I'm gonna throw the base coat with the granite right on it. And once I get a couple coats on this, I'll come back in the video and I'll show you guys how to do the next step. Well, here we go, we got a nice gray base coat, granite to be exact on our wild edge perch. And now we're gonna start painting the EV2 pattern details. First color you wanna use, you wanna start with your darkest colors. This is a Satin Espresso. This is a 99 cent loofah from the Walmart. I know I keep telling you I bought this stuff at Walmart. I am in no way affiliated with Walmart. You could get it at Dollar General as well. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of paint in there. Give it a little dabby dab. Now I'm using this metal pan. You can use paper plate, paper, plastic bowl, anything like that. And you're just gonna go through and dab that brown, just like that with the loofer all over the project. This is a little different than painting some other things. It's got a lot of cracks and crevices, but if you take your time, You'll be able to get that brown color saturated on your sponge and then all up inside those little areas. So I'm going to finish painting this on, let that dry, and we'll be back with you. Well, there we go. We have our brown installed. Doesn't look much like EV2 yet, but stick with me because it will. Okay, next color. We're going to our camo tan. Same principle. Fresh loofer, fresh gloves. So I'm not getting sticky mess all over anything. Now, don't throw your loofer away because once the paint dries, you can use it again. And as you can see, it's really starting to look like something here that on there a little bit right there, there we go now I'm gonna lay it down here get the bottom and then I'm gonna spray a little bit more paint and get up inside there And 
There we go. We're good. We're gonna let the tan dry. On to the next color. So as you can see, our tan is all dry. New gloves. What I did was I turned my pan inside out here. So I have a little valley there to spray some white in. And this is an existing loofer that I used for white previously. So same step. Now the white, you don't need as much of the white, but this is what really gives it that EV2 pattern is when you hit it with the white. But like I said, you don't need as much, but don't freak out because you really can't screw this up. And if you put too much of a certain color on there, then all you need to do is spray it back in the thing and go over with the color. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt anything. So right now we're hitting it with the white. And like I said, this is what really gives it that EV2 look when you bring this white in. As you can see, it is doing an awesome job. Just gonna hit a little bit right in there. That's enough. I'll hit some on the back here. Same way, not too much, just a little white. Like I said, don't, don't be scared if you get too much in one area and you don't like the way it looks. Go respray your tan or your brown or your gray and you can go over top of it. You can't, you can't mess this up. So, let's hit this side real quick. I don't even think I need any white up in there, but I'll put a little bit, get it up in there. All right, we're going to let that dry. I'll give you guys a final look at it. Then I'm done. My EV2 pattern will be 100% painted on my perch here. Ready for hunt season. Well, here we go. Last look at the perch. Used to be all black. And as you can see, when compared to my shirt, it's definitely a close match to that EV2 pattern. There you go, folks. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And this is what we do. Living lethal, 365 days a year. If we're not catching and killing something, we're getting ready to catch and kill something. Till next time, this is Wayne. And you know what we do. Get lethal.